In this video, we're going to focus on zooming in, but more specifically, we will zoom in the moment we click on one of these data. For example, I click here on Tuesday, and what happens? We're now zooming in the specific range of this to the max range here. And if I want to know now only this specific one, there we are. I will go here, and we can go very deep into single one. So let's start to look how we can create this zoom in functionality. So let's start to look how to zoom in by clicking on the chart in Chart.js. So the first thing what we need is to get our default code, which you can find here on chartjs3.com, getting started, this specific link here, which you can find in the description box. Once you're on here, just scroll down and copy this entire text. Copy this, and if you want to understand what this text does, make sure you watch this video here. So then, I'll just sort of paste this in there, cut that out, and then just put that in here. Save, refresh. All right, so now we have this here, and what I want to do eventually, I want to make sure that this is clickable, and the moment we click, we will immediately zoom in in Chart.js. To do this, I will need some additional items here on the scales. So I'm going to say here on the X scales, I put it here, comma, and I will say here, and the min value will be zero, and the max value in this case, because we have how many items? Seven items here. So we say here index number six. For the y, we will do exactly the same. We can say here, min value will be zero. And the max value, if you look at it, the max is right now 18. I can put on 18, or maybe we can do 20. That will be more than enough. Save this, refresh. There we are. So now we have some additional space here. So what I want to do is basically this. When I click on any of these items, we will zoom in. So let's start to do that. So I'm going to create here. First thing, and then what I want to do is I want to make sure we create a function, and this function we can call our zoom in or zoom click function. Let's make this a small letter. Here we are, zoom click. And I'll just do here a console log and just say here test. Test, there we are. Of course, right now it's not activated, so what I'm going to do here is to create an add event listener to trigger this function. So what I'm going to say here is my chart dot canvas because what I want to track is not only the my chart because the my chart is the entire chart object with all of these items here, but I want as well the item here or basically I want to get the ID that's the one that's the canvas. So when I click on the canvas, it recognizes that this is the specific canvas we're clicking on. So then what I want to do here is say dot add event listener and then I'll say here this is being triggered by a click and then what I want to do here is I want to record the event so I say here the E for the event and then what I will do here is the zoom click functionality or function and then I'll re record two specific arguments the E for the click event and I want of course the chart itself which in this case is my chart so once I did that, semicolon column and semicolon. column, if I save this now, refresh, open up the developer tab. If I click now, you can see here, it will understand this click functionality. Now what I want to do is, I want to make sure that we are now going to zoom in. So what I'm going to do here is, remember we have these here, so these are in here as well. So I'm going to say here for the parameter, the E parameter, I'll define as click, and my chart will be defined as chart. So now we have this. And what I can do here now is, for example, I want to say here chart. And then what I want to do here is uh, to get the specific items. Chart equals my chart. So if I want to go now into the object, from my chart to config, and then from here options, and then X, let's grab here the X scale. I can uh, adjust that one. So let's start to adjust that. And they say I want to update the minimum and the maximum value. With that, we create a zoom functionality. So we're going to say here, chart.config.options, um, that's here, dot scales dot x. I'll grab the x, but you can also do the y, it doesn't matter. So we say here, x, and then what I will say here, min value equals, let's say here, uh, 2 for now. Later on, we will adjust this. Semicolon, and then I'm going to grab this again. We're going to grab this one, and I will say here, the max value will be uh, 4. So what will happen, we will only have this value 2 and 4. So we will see this if I click on the chart itself. So what I'm going to do here is a chart.update. 
So we're going to update that chart, save this, refresh. All right, so it took some time to load. And if I click on it, there you are. Of course, this is not really what I want because what I want to do is, for example, this. If I click here, why am I zooming in on there? So, or for example, here, I want to zoom in on this and maybe everything beyond that. So let's start to do that more by creating it or making it more intelligent. So how can we do that? Well, what we can do here is basically we need to get a specific command here. And to do this, I need to do an object destructuring. And if you want to understand what is object destructuring, please check my other video. It's in the description box, understanding uh, object destructuring for chart.js. And then what I'm going to do here is constant. I'm going to grab here the specific value with this chart, and then I can even use here some more shorthands. So what I'm going to say here, um, this could be, let's see, I don't think we need the CTX, but we do need the scales. We will need the scales, and specifically I need the X and Y. Oh, I realize that this one cannot be a shorthand here, so it doesn't matter. So ignore my comment previously. Anyway, so we have this one here, and this is creating a shorthand. So now what I want to do is I want to get a specific command here. And what I want is, this is a built-in command from Charges. Let's do a console log. We say X for the scales. And then we're going to say here the following. We're going to say get pixel for, or sorry, not get pixel, get the value for pixel. Meaning we want to get the value then we click on somewhere on the pixel here. So if we click on one of these pixels, a matching value will be discovered. And that matching value is basically an index. And that's what we want to extract now. So this is very important. So then we have here, and then we have here, let's do 100 pixels for now. This will give us something. Whatever it will give, I don't know exactly, but I guess it's somewhere in this range. 100 pixels in width, well, depends. If this is 700, this should be Monday or the first one we should get. So if I click on that, as do console log, we get zero. If I click again, all right, interesting. It gives us now a different one. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're going to now start working on it. So what I want to do now is I want to get here the specific value from wherever we click. How do we get this? Well, remember the click value here. That's what I'm going to use. There's a console log, click. And I'm going to say here, save, refresh. If I click somewhere, and let's click on this and just search for this item here, the offset X value, which is uh, registering the horizontal values. So offset X equals 525. So I'm going to copy this item here, say dot this. And this, if I save this now, refresh, if I click, we have 45, but click here, we get all of these numbers here, interesting. So now what I want to do is I want to just copy this, put it in there. And then, or basically, I just want to cut out this entire item. Let's put it in here because these are not necessary anymore. And then the max for now, I'll just make the max default six. Say refresh. So if I click here on this, there we are. If I click on this, there we are. There we are. And now we're zooming in anywhere we want. So this is basically the way to do it. Of course, now you might say, well, how do we zoom out? Well, you can probably use maybe a button or something else for that. So if you want to know how to zoom out, I have a specific video where we create a nice small button here, like a reset button, where you can zoom out back to its original state, which is this specific video here, how to create a HTML button in the canvas in Chartjs where we reset the chart afterwards. Highly, highly recommend to watch that together with this video.